Hi, and welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about what to wear when you go door knocking. Uh, I made another video uh, what to about what to wear uh, to a uh, business appointment or real estate uh, listing appointment uh, that you can check out for yourself. I showed a couple of different uh, ensembles that are um, kind of like a business casual look, uh, a little bit more dressed up. Um, there is a different uh, dress code that I recommend personally to wear when you go uh, door knocking. Uh, I've uh, checked everything for myself. I've tested uh, what to wear for myself. And I wanted to share these uh, quick tips uh, with you. First of all, the most important thing, and I'm sure you've heard this before, but I've uh, tested that myself as well. Um, it's very important to wear really comfortable shoes and socks. Uh, I did wear one day shoes that I love. Uh, the socks kind of didn't go with them. So I figured I'm going to just toss the socks. And I paid dearly for that because I had hurt my feet and... That was a, such a big mistake. Um, sometimes, you know, I want to look nice and put together and fashionable. And, uh, you know, there's a tendency not to think about what's going to happen, you know, in a couple of hours. And um, with door knocking, the key thing is that it is a very strenuous activity. Uh, people who open the door probably think like, you know, she just like walked out of her car uh, with AC. The truth is that I park my car far away from where I start so I can make my rounds from the beginning till the end and then the other side of the street. And I don't have time to get in my car and drive up to every single house. That would just cost me way too much time. So I have to uh, take into consideration the feet and the shoes and also uh, dressing much lighter than the weather uh, dictates. So if you if if it's a uh, sixty degrees weather and you're wearing a jacket, drop the jacket because you are walking around the different properties, walking up the steps. Uh, I have to actually circle around each property uh, so that I don't walk on people's lawns. And uh, I'm physically exercising when I'm doing this. Uh, after two hours, I'm sweating, even if it's cold out. Um, maybe not like so much sweating like in a gym, but you are moving. So dress lighter than you would if you were just normally go about your business. Another tip is not to wear business attire because then when people open the door and see you, they think you are a sales uh, person. You kind of want to make yourself look like you are a professional, but with your own style. So you do want to look polished and put together, but at the same time, you have to kind of think about um, yourself and about your comfort zone that you're going to be comfortable since you're going to be running around door to door, but also at the same time, um, making sure that you look polished. So uh, any type of pants is good, nice shirt, um, which you can accessorize with jewelry, with uh, maybe earrings. You can wear something a little bit more casual, but then dress it up a little bit more. Uh, you don't also want to be overdressed up because that's just going to make you feel uncomfortable. Mind you, you are quote unquote exercising because you're running door to door. Oh, you also want to make yourself look presentable when you, people are opening uh, the doors uh, so my take on it is dress business casual, but also remember about, you know, staying comfortable. Another thing that I noticed and that might be useful to you is put on something that has pockets. That's why most of the time I wear pants. I would never wear a, a skirt or a dress door knocking ever. Uh, for one reason is because of the aspect that I mentioned before that you exercising skirt or uh, a dress when you have to, you know, keep running around is not very comfortable. Wear some kind of pants that have pockets where you can put your phone and your business cards. I don't bring my purse to door knocking because 
I don't want to look like a church lady. And also, <laughs> I don't want anything to be around my body to kind of um, make me fiddle with my hands when I'm giving somebody my business cards or when I am uh, jotting down in a little notebook how many doors I, I hit. So this is what I carry with me. It's like a little notebook. Uh, I staple my uh, business cards to it. And I write down uh, everything that I've uh, door knocked see, over here. You could see that I've marked, did markings and notes. So it's a little small notebook. Staple your business card to it. Um, in the back, I have my um, pocket card, just in case anybody asks me a little quote for motivation and, and a pen. Wait, hold on a second. <laughs> and a pen. So I bring my phone. I bring this little notebook. I bring my business cards, a pen, and that's about it. Uh, in the car, I make sure I have some uh, cold water. So this way, if I'm taking a break, you get very thirsty when you're door knock. I make sure I have some water. I don't bring any food uh, because I'm kind of like on this high level of energy. I don't want anything disturbing me. Uh, I don't want anything slowing me down. Uh, so just, you know, when I finish one street, I go back to my car. I have a, a little bit of drink of water, not too much because I don't want to have to go to the bathroom and look for it. <laughs> I mean, let's face it. I'm talking realities here. Probably nobody else is talking about this. Uh, this is like real life stuff. And I'm sharing with you exactly what's happening when I go out there. So uh, let's see. I talked about the, the, the pants and uh, what to bring with you and uh, the sneakers uh, or the comfortable shoes. Uh, they don't have to be sneakers, by the way. I wear kind of like these, these uh, tennis shoes to my uh, door knocking uh, adventures. And then optional for you, if you want to, I mean, I don't bring it with me, but optional depends on the neighborhood that you are. You might stick a little, for women, you might stick a little pepper spray uh, in your pocket just to make you feel good. Um, I don't really have it uh, on me because I live in pretty safe neighborhoods, so I don't really really need to bring it but if you feel that way as a female as a woman you might want to stick a little um vial like that in a extreme situations where you might feel something is happening i don't know like a wild dog running at you or or something but you know the key to door knocking is that you door knock uh, which nowadays means ringing the bell i uh, most people have um camera um, doorbells nowadays so when you ring the bell, you are being seen on the camera and probably on their phones. If they don't want to pick up, uh, if they don't want to open the door, they, they, they see it on their phone like this. You know, they could look at it and see that you are at the door. So um, quickly, if they don't come and open the door, just move on. Just go to the next one and always walk at least 12 feet back away from the door once you ring it so this way people feel safe you're not like in their faces and uh you are also uh protecting yourself because if anybody has any bad intentions you are able to just quickly you know remove yourself from the situation so those are the key things i think for um you know, safety and uh, what to wear uh, to door knocking. I usually al also wear my hair up because if the wind is blowing, my hair is all over the place. Uh, like I said before, people think we just step out of our cars and look like movie stars. And But door knocking is like hard grinding work. So you kind of have to adjust to it, especially us women. Uh, don't even think about wearing any kind of high heels when you're door knocking, you will die. <laughs> So uh, those are the, the, the basic tips. If you have any questions about uh, door knocking or you would like to find out anything else that I do during my sessions, any tips or tricks that you're interested about, uh, don't be shy. Drop them in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. And stay tuned for more content on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe.